Gene Bosler here, Houston, Texas. Hi, folks. I've been uh, trying real hard to point out only positive things here, but I do want to kind of do a posting a few a week. And uh, people don't usually pick up the phone and say, Hey, Gene, I want to pay you to come out here and, and tell me how good my tree looks. So, nature of the business. So, I'm always looking for the upside. This tree set of live oaks is on a berm in the front of this house and so here we are nice and high up the house is down there driveway is down there the front walk is that way this textured landscape feature is part of the berm and then it slopes down to the street otherwise relatively flat so my first thought was was this berm built up burying the trees and if so by how many feet are the trees buried and how deep do we need to excavate to find the natural soil line if not and the berm was here first then how much root severance occurred on the back side when the home was built this is no new house here trees ain't new home ain't new okay so I see a, an oak root over here, right? So I did a little cursory excavation, as is my wont. Um, found that the root collar isn't really that far down. This is the beginnings of it. What is not so good is this is punky, spongy, decayed, rotten, all the way, I suspect all the way around, I can't say for sure. But this is a solid tree up here, and it's decaying around the perimeter. And the other thing I want to point out is I'm always exhorting tree owners to do everything in their power to promote their health. And that includes being mindful of how they're pruned. So roof clearance, I acknowledge, is important, but there was no need to strip out the interior and cause all this interior sprouting. And as I have pointed out in previous uh, postings, there are a lot of tree companies in the Yellow Pages who've made a little industry out of calling people every few years, ma'am, it's time to come and get rid of them suckers, what's robbing the energy from the top of the tree okay so these trees have been uh, further damaged by the defoliating pruning too much live foliage removed from trees that to the casual observer in pretty decent shape so we're going to excavate the root collars. Uh, look at this one, for example. Clearly that's sticking out of the ground like a telephone pole. And even the part that isn't buried is quite, and I think it's blackened because there must be an irrigation head hitting this trunk. So that needs to be put a stop to as well. Thanks for tuning in. Comments, questions. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do to take these three beautiful live oaks and and make them healthy start by never pruning them this way again excavating the root collars ascertaining the extent of basal decay and doing everything in our power to uh, promote good uh, good healthy root growth in the face of um, a soil medium that, that possibly resides higher on the horizon than is natural for the tree's original root system.